but you get double the fame and double the money. Final thing? I just get single the money. <clears throat> it's the Whiskey Duo Show, the podcast where nobody makes any money except for Chad. That's right. Ah, uh, it's the Whiskey Duo Show, your favorite podcast I'm by your favorite podcast. <laughs> <laughs> podcast duo. I'm not even gonna redo it. We're just gonna yeah, keep it. We will. Hey, everybody, way. welcome back to the Whiskey Duo. Today we're talking about inspiration. Condoms, and do they work? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> I got two kids upstairs that prove that I don't use them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where that was going. <laughs> oh man! Oh, that's, Who said I don't use oh. them? That hot coffee and it about came out my nose. <laughs> Just the other day. Nose condoms would prevent that. That's right. Nose condoms by Trojan. <laughs> Just the other day, Izzy comes to me and she's like, Dad, have I ever shot nose, no, shot milk out of my nose laughing? I was like, I don't think you have. Why? Oh. Okay. And she just walks away like, what are you watching on TV? Anyway, welcome back to the Whiskey Duo Show. <laughs> we know Silas hasn't. You want to talk about condoms? Let me tell you a story. Oh, God. You ever meet my papa Ed? Yeah. So he died... We were in high school. I think our junior year is when he passed away, so he's been gone for 20... 04, 05? It's been about 16, 17 years. That would be correct. We graduated 06. Yeah, I was about to say we've been out of school for 20 years, but not yet. 15. Uh, Next year will be years. 15 years. Yeah, right? Okay. Anyway, um, <clears throat> he passed away yeah, a while we're back. old. No, yeah, I'm we sad. Are. I don't even want to do this anymore. Continue. Okay. <laughs> when, uh, when I was a kid... We they had just finished building a house down in in Rockwell in the oh, yeah. in the Rowan County is that right somewhere down there somebody somebody Google that and comment the answer towards the coast um, he had uh, he was real prone to get what, what do you call skin melanoma mm-hmm. that it so he had several spots where they had like removed skin and stuff but he had to put lotion and stuff on his skin and special like that high SPF sunscreen yeah, yeah sunscreen and stuff like that yeah sunscreen yeah um. So, like, they had this jar. It looked like a fishbowl of these little, their finger condoms to rub. They were just the size of your finger to, like, put that stuff on. Really? So, like, they were, when they were showing the house, he was walking with my mom. And they had him on the, the, the dresser or, like, on in the bathroom or somewhere. And he looks at my mom and says, you see what your mom's got to deal with? <laughs> oh, that's gross. I got to see you when I'm to see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna ask her about finger condoms, though. Huh? I'm gonna ask her about finger condoms. Yeah, she, she, I don't know if she remembers that. I may have made that story up. I hope it's finger condoms. I'm not gonna Google finger condoms. You got some weird stuff on that one. Anyway, (laughs) moving on with the show. Where's the bell? Do we still have the bell? Just go to Amazon Eagle Bomb, trust me. So, Chad, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You never ask me anymore. I literally just asked you a second ago. Have you noticed the new addition (laughs) to the wall? Uh uh. Besides the stuff that fell, that got knocked off when the light fell. I'm looking for it. Is it the monkeys? The monkeys are new. Mm-hmm. The here, see the evil? Those are new. No, they were just down here. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't see them. Uh, Batman? Yeah. Nope, not that Batman. There's another Batman? The Batmobile. Below uh, it. I thought that was already there. That's a phone. We're going to put up a line. Just that's the one you call us on. The Whiskey Duo line. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. Now that we're six minutes in, welcome to the Whiskey <laughs> Duo show. Yeah, you skipped um, all that. We know. I'm your host, Josh. This is your co-host, <laughs> Chad, the bubbler. Chef Chad. The bubbler. As we call him around here. <sighs> Let's just jump right into this show. It's going to be a good one today. Probably. I'm kick it off with the Whiskey of the Week. Colombian beans of coffee for Chad. I hear you hit that high <laughs> note. <laughs> no, I stopped on that one. So today's Whiskey of the Welcome Week. Welcome to Downton Abbey. I've got a tiny bit of larceny left from last week, but today's Whiskey of the Week is coffee. Yeah, because i got to drive home. <sighs> Two's my limit. Go ahead, take your time. He's doing math. No, Leah's messaged me or something. Oh, we're in trouble. Right. She's like, stop drinking. <laughs> I heard that. Get him out of my house. So we're we're having Colombian. I think it's Colombian. It it's brought, the red one. Your, uh, is it Folgers? Was it? Yeah, it was the black silk. Was it? No, that was last time. 
So it is I Folgers. Like I think so. it's wait, wait, Folgers wait. Colombian. Oh. So what we've got today, not a sponsor. If they wanted to, we'd let them. Absolutely. <sighs> Even though the heiress to the Folger fortune died by the Manson family. That's actually Continue, true. go on. Oh, you didn't know that? I did not know that. August, when they killed Sharon Tate and everything, back when they got the big murder thing, one of the Sharon Tate's friends over was the heiress of the Folger fortune. Folger coffee heiress. Not Twilight Zone if it actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> awkward last week we um we started the new segment of the show called Inspiration Point we don't know if you like it or not but we think it's hilarious so we're gonna keep doing it I don't know if that's what we call it is that what, we, what we're gonna call this Inspiration Point we're taking suggestions on naming this part of the segment we could call it segment. Inspiration Alley um insp- Inspiration Inspiration Interstate oh that's a good one or I.I. for short two I too. No, oh, oh, like Roman I, numeral I, I, I. I. killed this because it's the second part of the show. Yeah, it's true. I I two. I don't like that. I don't either. People get confused on that. They ain't listen to, listen to this in twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it was good. It wasn't. It just a judge's choice. Right. Um. So we had a blast last week at doing that. So we 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 decided to make it a part of the, the show. Motivation motorway. Oh, motivation motorway. I like that. that. Helps with the UK people and the. We you know we that, have none. We got that old car. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's not on here. Oh, yeah, you took it off because we never used it. Yeah, because we and got now it. we need it. Right. <sighs> we'll have it back next time. So, we don't know what you guys do. If you have a job, or if you're like me and you are laid off because of Corona, I'm not better. If you're watching this or listening, write us and tell us what you do do, so we can motivate you. In the best way we know how. Not very well. Sorry, I was being bitter. Oh, all right. Um, That's right, you then <laughs> take unemployment. You take we, that check in your pajamas. And I do. <laughs> I didn't put on pants yesterday. Or now. I have a shirt on. That's all that matters. Uh, we decided to make enough. this a part of the show. The motivational, what was it? Motiv- motivation mo- Motorway. Motivation Motorway. Mo- You're about to do this because Josh might not be able to say it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking four episodes in when you have a few whiskeys. We talk a lot. Time travel. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, we want to motivate you, the listener, you, the viewer, you, the Chad. That's me. That's right. We're going to pick a couple random jobs. About to give you, about to throw in your face. Feel free to put jobs at the bottom and comment and tell us. Yes, if you want to add a job to the list, maybe you're a preform maker or a, a dermatologist. Or perhaps you're a proctologist. Or a pimp. Or a pimp. We'll do put, any of them. Put a comment down below saying a job title and we'll add it to the list. Or a serial killer. <clears throat> Don't put it down there because I ain't no snitch. Do people get paid for that? If they rob them afterwards. Hired hitman. Oh, there we go. That, that, we could do that one on one episode. Oh. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're about to throw in your face three-ish. <laughs> I don't remember how long the track is. Three minutes. Three... Glorious minutes. Glorious. Of motivational motorway. Would you like to go first? This I don't even know what we're doing. Which ones are we doing? What we're doing, the cook? Yeah. That's right, cook. Karen did send back her mashed potatoes, saying they weren't good enough. You have every right to put your balls in them. <laughs> I'm not expecting <laughs> that. Sorry, get serious. Sorry. This is a motivational motorway. This one's for you, Mr. Cook. James T. Cook. You worked your tail off to get to where you're at. Four years of night school. Seven weeks of McDonald's. And now look at you. you used to be a dishwasher. But you're a line chef. A head line chef. At the Olive Garden. Who cares if you spit occasionally or lose a thumbnail? Not I. Because you make ravioli like none other. You, sir, are an inspiration. That's all I've got. 
Don't worry, cook. Just because I found a band-aid in my tuna tartare does not mean you're a bad cook. I mean, it does. If it was my restaurant, you'd be fired. Go to school and get a better job. Keep your damn band-aid on your hand. Why the hell am I eating tuna tartare? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Sounds tart. You know, it's got tuna in it. This one's for you, Mr. Cookman. You can do it. You've got what it takes. Who cares if you slightly overcooked my medium rare steak and it came out as a well done steak and I sent it back and you sent another one that was medium well done this time. I'm telling you, it's only 15 seconds on each side to get a rare steak. It's really not that hard. Why can't you comprehend this? Okay, just, I'm sorry, I got distracted. You're doing great. You keep at it. These are stressful times, but you're handling it like a champ. So you lost your hand in an onion cutting accident. Now you have to wear a hook. It splashed grease in your eye, now you have to wear an eye patch. Just hope you don't get junk itch. That ain't really motivation for a cook, that's just, that's just good advice. Don't overcook the damn steak. Lastly, maybe you did lose your eye, and you have a hook, and now everyone calls you Captain Cook. <laughs> That's okay. At least you're not Long John Silver. You make cheese tartare like none other, and I'm proud of you. Let's go to an ad. I was going to say, we're supposed to do three minutes of three different ones. We did the whole three minutes of a... I'll be honest, I think it's fun. I don't care if you like it or not. Hi, I'm Josh Harris of the Whiskey Duo. I hate cats and I hate to spend too much money on stuff. That's why I switched to Sarah's decals and such. They've got decals and such. Heck, Chad saved so much money, he went on trips. Isn't that right, Chad? That's right. With all the money I saved, I went on places like Mexico. I even went on places like Las Vegas. I mean, look at them strippers. I also went on the place of my, my motherland, Ireland. Hi, Dad. So if you're like us and you hate to spend too much, give Sarah's decals and such a try. They've got decals and such. I'm still stuck in Ireland. All right, we're back. Welcome back to the Whiskey Duo Show. Look, it was pouring the rain and now the sun is coming out. I'm yeah, so glad we have a window in the studio. Even though we missed the girls in bikinis. That's why they were wearing the bikinis. Rain. Oh, they knew it was coming. We thought they were idiots, but let's be honest. Smarter than us. I have to compliment on your shirt. That's just... Hmm? It's a nice shirt. You like my shirt? It's like a Hawaiian shirt, but it's kind of like African-themed. Yeah, they're, they're far apart from each other. Not really. <laughs> There's only a two oceans in a country. You're at this flat. Depends on who your globe is. Depends which way you go. Go that way. It's pretty far. <laughs> go that way. Still pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to take it down. <laughs> we're going to take it down a notch. We're going to take it down a notch while I'm strolling to the coldest conversation cul-de-sac. I can't even get it out today. Sorry. Due to legal reasons, we've been forced to change the name of Conversation Street, thanks a lot, Top Gear, to Conversation Cul-de-Sac. Everybody knows what's at the end of the street. The cul-de-sac. In a rich neighborhood. Right? Yo, Chad, I had all these... Um, motivational quotes. Yeah, motivational quotes pulled up to give you, but now it just has pictures of finger condoms. That's motivational right there. Use condoms. Protection helps. Not chubby. We are just a motivational group. <laughs> Not you know, so much. The, the two of us, we motivate each other. You motivate me not to do anything, and I motivate you by paying you to weed eat that hill for me. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, Chad, I'm going to give you, let's get some background music because everything's better with the background mm -hmm. music. If you have any motivational quotes for me, feel free to you know, I'm sure I'll come up with throw them out there. I'll either catch it and keep it or I'll throw it right back. First one I got for you is listen, smile, agree, and then do whatever you're going to do anyway. See ya. Chad? What? 
Never, never let anyone uh -huh. treat you like the yellow starburst. You are a pink starburst. I actually like the yellow. I'll say I do too. So don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like the green Skittle that nobody cares about or something. Here's one from the Dalai Lama himself. That's a llama you purchase at the dollar store. The Dalai Lama. <laughs> Says, you think you're too small to make a difference? Try sleeping with a mosquito. I think it means like... <laughs> that kind of sleeping, not... Mm. Mosquito sucks, though. <laughs> People who... <laughs> Chad? What? People who wonder whether the glass is half empty or half full are missing the point. What's in the glass? It's refillable. Ooh. What's in the glass? What's in that box? You know, we'll finish it with this one since the music is done. Chad? What? How are you? Where? Life is not a fairy tale. It's not? If you lose your shoe at midnight, you're drunk. I like that one. That one's a good one. That one's good to learn. It's the Wear end of the conversation, cul de sac. <laughs> Where? Get the Velcro kind. They're easy to tie when you're drunk. And if they light up, you can probably find it again. Just saying. I want yeah. some light up shoes. Somebody sponsor me and buy me some light up shoes. I'm, I've got a surprise for you, Chad. I didn't buy you any, but they're only like 30 bucks on Amazon. Really? For adult light up shoes. 100% older than those. <laughs> totally thought I was getting some for Christmas. Mom, you let me down. Thanks, Don. I could also use some. And this has been Conversation Cold <laughs> Sack. How to make your mother feel horrible. Hopefully she doesn't listen to this. She does. I <laughs> made a joke about putting balls in mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, not me. So Christmas okay. is going to be awkward. <laughs> you know, Especially if she serves mashed potatoes. Chad, I, I feel like your we need to be... Now. We're being motivational and inspirational we today. Are. We should do it one more time. Let's do it. We're about to throw in your face three more minutes of motivational speaking. It could be one job. It could be three jobs. We'll see how we feel. It's for you, hobo. You give a new minute to ride the train on somebody. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of that. What does that even mean? I got you. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Just go with whatever I go with. <laughs> no, you can't even look at me. Here we go camera. again. Eighth try. It's hard to inspire homeless people. It really is. Or hobos. There's a difference. Let's spell that word out. Hobo. Go, Chad. H. Honest. O. My screwmire wieners. <laughs> Try again. Let's do it. Hobo. Let's spell that word out. Chad. H. Harry. O. Old. B. Body. O. Odor. <gasps> no one quite smells like you, Mr. Hobo. You've traveled the world around by train properly, slept under bridges, cuddled with dogs, held skunks in places too cold for a normal man. But you don't care. You smell terrible. Good for you. If they bottled your scent, it'd be called Ude Asprey. This was for you, Mr. Paranormal Investigator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that wind blew through the window and scared the hell out of you and you pissed yourself. Sorry. That's okay, because you have your own TV show now. Here's to you, Mr. Paranormal Investigator. Guy. <laughs> you keep him going, Zach. You keep telling him that's a ghost. Zach. We may all know that's just dust. But you convince us every day it's an orb. And if I believe in anything, Zach, it's you. It's for you, ghost guy. Get a real damn job. This one's for you also. What'd you call him? Ghost guy. Ghost guy. When there's something wrong in my neighborhood, who am I gonna call? Not you. The ghost guy. Ghost guy. 
If I'm feeling strange, maybe a hobo, and it don't feel good, it might be the hobo, but I'm calling ghost the guy. ghost guy. This is a ghost hobo. A gobo. <laughs> when the gobo comes, who are you gonna go to? The ghost guy. Gobo Buster. Here's to you. Is it, whose turn is it? I don't know. Who's to you? Paranormal investigator. Oh, we're still on the go here. Ghost guy. I watch your show every weeknight. Fridays. 11 p.m. One hour long. Just to see if you prove this week that there is existence after death. You come close, but you keep me on the edge of my seat every time. And then I have to watch two hours of the Brady Bunch so I'm not too terrified to go to sleep. Job well done. It's just for you, ghost guy. It's only me. There's killer hornets now, give it time. I'm sure you'll be up by noon. Here's to you, Mr. Paranormal. Mr. Hobo. He was just trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, man. If you like that episode, then My nose is you're a liar. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to the Whiskey Duo. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you tune in yeah, for yeah. the blooper reel. Uh, that will it's be, gonna up be good. uploaded after this. And no, Mom, I haven't been drinking much. <laughs> Lie. Whiskey Duo is brought to you by Sarah's Decals and such. They make decals. And such. We'll see you next week. Even for hobos. I mean, they got paid for them. Does a hobo have money? Charitable causes. Mobo. <laughs>